What is up fam? It is Hatchy Reviews here back once again, aka the Garbage Pal Juggalo. And today we're gonna be doing a review. And today's review is going to be on this nice little album right here. This is Ouija Max debut album on Psychopathic. This is Gutter Water. Just showing you guys all the, there we go, right there. I have to like kind of look underneath to see, make sure you guys are seeing that. Okay, that's upside down. There, yep, you're good. Okay, and then flip it over. Yep. And right there you go. Okay. You got spine there. Next side there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna open this up, get this book out of here, set that off to the side for the moment, take out the C, set that off to the side as well, there's what you look like behind the CD, there you go, okay, and then we get to the CD itself, and there's the CD right there, okay, Put that back in the case, and then we get to the book. So we got all your credits and your info on one side. Right there, you go, right there. So you got all that, and then on the other side, you got a picture of Mayak and other than that not really too much going on here just your credits and then the picture on the other side yep, produced by written by so let me fold that back up now there we go and then if I can get it to Stay right about here. That would be awesome. <laughs> hey! Alright, so your track list for this album includes The Summoning, Human Waste, Choker, Galoshes, Diamonds, Rip Velvet, Bare Hands, Starry, Shreddy Kruger, Bloody Drop, Urinal, Future Wicked, Other Side, Ghost, Kill Ho Tribe Anthem, Denial, and On Everything. So, all right, we can we can move this now. Put this back in the case. Now I'm gonna be completely honest here. When uh, I heard first heard Ouija, it was because of the cipher, uh, cipher seventeen. I had never heard of him up until that point, and it made me go back and check out some of the stuff that he had done with uh, Swag Tooth and. I loved what he did with the cipher, and the stuff that he did with Sway Tooth, I was a little sketchy on. I was like, Ugh, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. But once this dropped and I heard it, I was like, okay, I can dig it. I can definitely dig it. Um, it is a very, very good album, front to back. Um, I would have to say that. My favorite song on here would have to be Rip Velvet. But uh, Galashis is an amazing track. Uh, Shreddy Kruger is also an amazing track. Uh, Future Wicked is a great one too, which features Light, Young Light, however you want to refer to him. Uh, Urinal, Body Drop, Other Side, and Ghost are definitely a very big favorite of mine. Um, but like I said, my favorite would definitely have to be Rip Velvet. It is a great track. The album as a whole is fantastic. You can listen to this album from beginning, especially if you're into this kind of music. He does more like, I guess you could say, trap style of rap. Which is it's one of the reasons why I was a little iffy at first when he got signed. Because it's a completely different style of music than what we're used to. From psychopathic, we're usually used to just straight up wicked shit, but this is like trap wicked, I guess you could say. And 
when I heard Swag Tooth, I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how I feel. But then as I picked this up and I heard it, I actually heard it first uh, via iTunes. Uh, and I was like, okay, I definitely want to get the actual album now. And then, well, obviously I got it. So I heard the entire album off of iTunes and I was sitting there listening to it. And then when it got to Ripped Velvet, the first night that I had listened to this in its entirety, when I got to Ripped Velvet, I had loved that track so much that I must have repeated it a good 10, 15 times before I even finished the rest of the album. Um, and by the way, for anybody that doesn't know, um, and, and I'm sure most people do know because it's a very, very popular band. A lot of people know of them. May not like them, but a lot of people know of them. I personally do not like them at all. But it is worth noting. For anybody who uh, didn't catch the reference, this is paying homage to um, a Nirvana album. I cannot remember the name of the album for the life of me right now. So, please, if anybody knows it, you can post it in the comment section below. I want to say it's called Nevermind, but I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the band at all, so I never really paid much attention. But I, I just know that this is paying homage to that Nirvana album. I know what the album cover looks like for the album this is paying homage to. It's just the name escapes me for whatever reason. I don't know. But as a debut album, I honestly think this is probably one of the best full-length album debuts that we've had from Psychopathic in a very, very long time. Uh, just as a debut album in general, it doesn't have to be an LP, EP. Just as a debut CD in general, uh, I think this is the best one. Light was definitely a really good one too, but I think this one outshined it just a little bit. Just a little bit. There is, it is debatable. I know there are some people that are not a fan of Ouija at all and prefer Light. And then there's people who aren't a fan of Light and prefer Ouija. I honestly love them both. But I think when it comes to debuts, I think Ouija shined just a little bit more than Light. Not by a lot, though. They both did really, really fantastic on their debuts. And I hope great things for the future with Psychopathic. But as far as debuts go within the past however many amount of years, I think this is definitely probably the best one since ABK, Hatchet Warrior, maybe. The only other one that I can think of in between that time that came out that I thought was really a good outstanding debut album was Big Hoodoo with, uh, what was the album called? Hold on, hold on. I've got my CD binder right next to me. Crystal Skull. I didn't even need to look. I knew I was going to either, I was either going to have to look or it, it hit me eventually. One of the two. But I would have to say that this one would probably be about on par with Crystal Skull and then before that, ABK's Hatchet Warrior, because that was a fantastic debut as well. But it's really, really tough for me to choose between this and Crystal Skull, because Crystal Skull was an amazing debut for Hoodoo. I think his follow-up was definitely a lot better, The Asylum, but for debuts, Hoodoo and Ouija definitely came hard. Light came pretty hard, too. So uh, I know he just recently released another album. I think it was it's labeled as a mixtape, I think, and it's... uh. Water Damage, I think it's called. Water Damage. And I have that on my phone as well. I've listened to it a couple of times. I don't know if I'm going to get that one to do a review on that or not. Because it is technically not a psychopathic release. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway. If you haven't heard it yet. Definitely would recommend you pick it up. Uh, you can either pick it up through Psychopathic Merch. Or you can pick it up uh, through iTunes. You can download it through iTunes probably any other digital retailer as well or if you're really not sure if you want to put it on your computer or put it on your phone or have a physical copy of it I do believe you can hear the whole album right now on YouTube I'm honestly happy that they don't try to take those down because it is definitely a great way to give these albums a listen for those people that don't have access to certain things like iTunes or Spotify or something of that nature and I also know that in order to even have access to something like iTunes, you have to pay a monthly subscription fee. I know I do, at least. And um, I use, uh, I think it's what I use is called iMusic, but I'm pretty sure it's the same basic concept. iTunes and iMusic, I do believe, are the same thing. 
It's just iMusic, I think, is more for the phone, whereas iTunes is more for the computer. I don't really know the difference. I just know I use iMusic. That's on my app says anyway. So you can pick this up through there. You can pick it up through Psychopathic Merch, or you can listen to it on YouTube. Give it a listen. I highly, highly recommend it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Like I said, he did a great job on his debut. Much respect. Mad props to him for that. And also, if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing the shirt right now, actually. I went and saw ICP back in October for the Hollywood Wicked Tour. And he actually did a surprise performance. I actually have videos on my phone of that performance. I'm going to be trying to splice all these videos together to post them onto YouTube. I do have a little bit, I think like a two-minute video on the YouTube channel with the footage from that on it from that show but it was like the intro to the show which when they're bringing out icp and they're announcing the insane clown posse and they on release some kind of similar to what they did in the seminar or gathering 2002 i think it was but he did a surprise performance and then after the show i actually got a chance to speak with him for a few minutes told me he fucking killed it because he did he seems like a really chill dude and so that was that was definitely cool. I wish I would have brought this with me. If I would have known that he was going to be there, I would have brought this with me and had him sign the bitch. But that's neither here nor there. It's whatever. So great debut. Uh, I would have to say overall, I'm going to go back into rating albums again, by the way. And I would have to say overall, I would definitely give this album 5 out of 5. Without a doubt, 5 out of 5. I don't even think that's a question. <laughs> he definitely killed it on this. So... Five out of five for him. And that's Hatchets, by the way. So, that was Ouija Mac. I was gutter water. More stuff coming. Like I said before, I'm trying a whole bunch of different things. Everything's coming little by little. This is the start of hopefully a great fucking 2019. Thank you all for watching, subscribing. Be sure to hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified when I post up more videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. You guys are the shit. Love you all, and as always, peace, fam.